Hello foodies, today I'm going to show you one of the healthiest fish recipes and this is fish in papillot or in parchment paper. So we are going to pack the fish inside of the parchment paper case and bake it. But before that, let me show you one trick that will make your fish even more flavorful. Let's get started. First things first, let's preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I'll start making caper and olive compound butter. Major ingredients here are well-softened butter, place it in shallow bowl where it will be mixed, some marinated capers that I've thoroughly rinsed, and this is very important as you want to wash out all that brine to let the capers taste the best, and Kalamata olives. To combine capers and olives with butter, I'll first chop and crush them with a the knife, then add to the bowl with butter. Then we have to add just a bit of smoked paprika with chili garlic sauce, some salt and lemon juice. And then give it all a good mix. All ingredients and measurements are listed in the description below, so just check them out. Next is seasoning the halibut. I have here a really nice filet, which I'm going to cut in four parts as I'm making four portions today. Then season with salt and pepper from both sides and set aside. To make parchment paper cases, take or cut four rectangular shaped parchment paper sheets of approximately 15 to 12 inches and putting them on top of each other, fold in half, making a well-defined crease in the middle. Take one sheet of parchment paper, unfold it and put it on the working surface. Place one piece of halibut onto it, closer to the crease in the middle. Then top the fish with a few red bell pepper slices, four or five cherry tomatoes, again four or five pitted Kalamata olives, one stem of tarragon and one stem of parsley. Drizzle with some olive oil and add one teaspoon of compound butter on top of the herbs and fold the parchment paper over the fish with veggies, herbs and caper and olive butter. So here we go and we'll start with one edge and starting just creasing it really tightly making sure that it's all sealed down. And this is very important because we want to make sure that the fish will be nicely sealed and that inside of this parchment case, there will be enough steam that will cook this fish and vegetables in a really, really nice nice way and when you get to the very edge just you know rotate it a few times and here you go the first one is done repeat the same to the rest of the pieces Four parchment cases on a baking tray and send to the oven. Don't forget the timer, it cooks fast. 15 minutes is all we need. While the fish is baking in the oven, I can take care of the compound butter. You must be asking what to do with the rest of it. Short answer is store it. And here's how to do it. Place the remaining caper and olive butter onto another sheet of uh, parchment paper. Cover with one edge and start rolling it at the same time forming the lock. Once it is wrapped this way, seal both edges like a candy and fridge it or send to the freezer. In the fridge it will stay well for one month and in the freezer for three months. This butter you can add to flavor boiled or steamed veggies, all kinds of fish. It goes well with pasta, grains, leafy greens like kale or Swiss chard, and it's awesome with steaks. I 
and here we are, our log is ready. After a quarter of an hour in the oven, take the parchment paper cases out. If sealed properly, they will look like a balloon. Let them cool down for a few minutes and you will see how cases deflate and boiling juices inside calm down. Now, when the halibut is ready, be careful because the steam inside is going to be... Well, it was very good for halibut, but it's not going to be good for you. Serve them on a plate and let everyone who will have this fish open their cases on their own. With just kitchen scissors, let's carefully open it and see how it looks. Oh, I can smell it already. There we go. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at these flakes! Oh, let's try it, let's try it and be quick! This is good when it's hot. I can't even tell. It's fantastic, I'm telling you, you gotta try this. This is so good, I love it. This butter, the compound butter, gave it so much flavor. And the veggies, I haven't seasoned them because we had so, you know, right amount of salt in all this. You don't need to, you know, season your uh, cherry tomatoes and the bell peppers. Let me see how it, it goes with the, with the tomato. Mm. Nice. Happy! <laughs>